Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. My name is Jeff, and I'm gonna walk you through spooling a spinning reel spool on the HD 140 line winder. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is remove the level wind pulley and set it to the side as it's not needed in this application. First, we're gonna take the cone point assembly and we're gonna insert it into the low speed drive shaft hole on the left side of the gearbox. Then we're gonna take the support arm and insert it into the hole on the base of the HD140. The centering cone helps balance the spool on the machine. So we're gonna go ahead and insert that on the cone point assembly. Next is the rubber cover that's gonna go on the end of the support arm. And finally, there's a rubber ball that's gonna help center the spinning reel spool itself. The spinning reel spool basically slides onto the cone and is centered by the ball and it keeps everything straight. It's important to note that when we spool this reel, we're gonna want the line coming off of the bulk spool on the bulk spool holder onto the top of the spool of the spinning reel in a counterclockwise motion. That will prevent any twisting between the line on the bulk spool and on the spinning reel spool. Let's get started. We decided to spool our reel with braid. We're gonna go ahead and put that spool of braid on our bulk spool holder. Remember to push the line counter arm out of the way when pushing the spool all the way up on the shaft. Then we're gonna take our locking collar, slide it on the shaft and use a thumb screw to hold the bulk spool in position. Next, we can take and tie the braid onto the spinning reel spool by using a uni knot. I find that this is the best knot to use for attaching bulk line to a spool of a reel. Cut off the tag end. Now we're ready to start winding. We're gonna go ahead and put the machine in the forward position, clear the line winder, make sure there's pressure on the spool, and attach the handheld line guide around the braid in preparation of starting. Next, a little bit of foot pressure and the machine starts rolling. Remember to keep even pressure with your right hand on the spool as it goes around. And if you're using a heavier braid on a larger spinning reel, you might want to use a cotton glove to keep the pressure tight and the heat down off of your hands. Start off slow and you can always increase your speed as you become more comfortable with the machine. And there you go, a perfectly spooled spool by the HD140 line winder. A quick rubber band around the spool ensures that the line doesn't come off or get loose. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, call Bob at the factory, 201-699-4228, or you can always email him at linewinders at trianglesport.com. And remember, happy fishing and tight lines.